continuing our series of conversations with David Allen, the author of GTD Getting Things Done. We discuss some things he's been working on recently. We talk about his upcoming book, plans to buy a new car, and the worldwide impact of GTD. It's a behind the scenes look at life with David Allen. I'm Dave Edwards. If you don't wanna miss any of my conversations with David, he always fills us in on his thinking about productivity and the GTD methodology. Subscribe and you won't miss any of them. But today we pull back from productivity and GTD to find out what's been going on with David and his life in Amsterdam. Well, mostly uh, working on, you know, our book is now in the hand, our new book, uh, Team Getting Things Done with Others, is in the hand of our, of our editor at Penguin. So he's now come back with comments about our somewhat final draft. So we're now making comments on his comments, you know, that, that, went, that will then go back to him so we can get a final, final, final draft that then can go to copywriters and go to whatever to then create a galley, you know, about the book. So that's got most of my attention. I'm thinking of buying a, a car. We actually bought the garage below our apartment. So I now have actually have room to have a car without having to pay for parking. Mm. <laughs> so I'm, I'm been researching cars. I'm going to take a test drive of the Tesla Y on, on Thursday, you know, in a couple of days. Uh, so just to see. And so, because that'll give us, we haven't had a car for almost 10 years here in Amsterdam because we haven't needed one. You don't need it. But now that we have a place, to park it, a place to hide it, a place to keep it clean. It's like, well, why not? And now the E, you know, the, these are, it's like an E SUV, yeah, but small. So it has room for our two dogs that we can throw in the back so we can do day trips around the Netherlands or even, you know, a short overnight trips in places that take dogs. And because the Netherlands, we still haven't explored all of the Netherlands that we ought to see because you can't get there unless you're in a car for a lot of the really cool places to be. Right. So that's that's sort of a new creative fun project or interesting, you know, about that. And, you know, just again, managing our network, uh, as I mentioned to you before we even started the, the broadcast that we have now such a we still have a, such a great network of fabulous people that are business people that have taken on the GTD methodology and, and been, you know, certified as coaches and trainers uh, to distribute this stuff around the world. So you know, anything I'm doing, you know, daily, I get requests and, and opportunities to be able to support that network. So You were telling me the range of countries that you brought together for this little meeting. It was very impressive. China, Thailand, Colombia, Norway, Sweden, Finland, Germany, UK, uh, uh, Brunei. Uh, yeah, huge. So even just a small group of people, but these are people from all over the world who just wanted to come and because we haven't connected face-to-face -face in person with our network of our partners out there since the pandemic. So this was an opportunity to do that again. So we found that useful and we, we weren't, we didn't know how useful would this be. And they loved it. They all got juiced. They all got stoked and got inspired about sort of their next chapters, given this, just this network. Come on, when two or more are gathered, Dave, you know, with the same context, the same values or whatever, something bigger, it's, you know, the, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts and very much so. So the last three days, that's what we've done. And so building and just supporting that network and responding to all of their requests, you know, of how I can help. That's a lot of what I do. Hey, I want to go back to one more question here. I want to go back to the, to the, to the book, not so much the book itself, because when it's out, I'm sure you and I will have plenty of time to talk about it, but I'm always fascinated. I love to talk to authors about the process of writing, particularly when you have a co-author. I mean, can you, I mean, how does that work? I mean, are you just each writing different chapters or are you sending drafts back of the same chapter? How does that work? Well, I think it's quite unique to the book. In this particular book, my co-author did the heavy lifting because he's had the, the most experience recently with implementing 
uh, the principles we talk about with senior teams. So he's got a lot of the miles on his tires about that. And he's also a brilliant writer, very smart. So, uh, so I've got the GTD brand, I've got that. So my contribution has been basically, you know, evaluating what he's written and then helping him together with him frame the context. One of the hardest things is to frame a context of how you put together a piece of information or something you want to put out as a book. Because it's one thing to have content. It's another thing to decide, how do you format that? How do you frame it? Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's a lot of what I've done is, is thinking through how do we do that? And, you know, I've got, you know, I've got a good bit of personal, you know, input into the book as well. So we just worked together very collaboratively. You know, he wrote a crappy first draft. I then looked at it, edited it, brought thoughts back to we Then we created a, a not so crappy first draft or second draft. And then, the, you know, and then that went back and forth. So we just, we, you know, we ate our own dog food. So it's like, okay, what we worked, we used our own planning model. What's the purpose of this chapter? What's the vision of success with it? How do we organize it or whatever? And we did that with every single part of the book. So we just used our own stuff. You know, to make sure we got the right manuscript out and then at some point get it to the editor, get to the agent, make sure the agent bought into it, make sure that then they are our potential editor and, and, and the publisher bought into it. So all those were back and forth iterations that we just kept flexible and we kept working and kept course correct and kept getting better at it. It's taken two years, pretty much. Wow. That's amazing. What's the, uh, is there a target publication date? They say March or April next year, okay. uh, 2024. I think that has to do with their catalog and you know when they do that, how, we have to kind of leave that up to Penguin where they do it. But it still needs, even when the even when the final, our final draft is done, they need to, in order to create a, a, an appropriate galley so we can send it out for you know blurbs and endorsements or whatever. So it's gonna take a while. It has to be copyrighted and then a copy written, you know, our editor is fabulous. At it. He's an incredibly sharp guy uh, in terms of languaging. We've done pretty good at making the language very universal and stripping out pretty business buzzwords and technology stuff that would be uh, untimely, you know, five years from now. So to make this more evergreen, but he's even been better at here's a way to phrase that. And I think because it'll be easier to translate it, easier for a larger audience to sort of get it. Anyway, more than you need to know, but that's a lot of what's been going on, you know, in our iterations with, uh, you know, how that's going to work. So, it, it, and then they have to do uh, proofing, uh, typesetting, and then they formatting and, you know, def defining all of that. So mm -hmm. they, they, they're, they're excited about it. You know, Ping, my editor and Penguin, they're totally excited about it, but they think it might be as big as getting things done. Wow. How many years has it been since, uh, well, you did the revision of getting things done, but even that was a number of years ago. Mm -hmm. 2015 is when that came out. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're anxiously waiting for it, my friend. Me too. <laughs> David Allen, yeah. thank you as always for joining us today. Really appreciate it. Dave Edwards, thank you for uh, the conversation. It's always fun.